Welcome back to Falcons Franchise, week four against the Saints. You may have missed the last episode. I uploaded it at a stupid time before Sunday Night Football. They got buried, so you may have missed that one. It was a great game. We won. How nice is that? And we're looking to do the same here in week four against the one and two New Orleans Saints. They could tie for the division lead with the win here and, of course, get the tiebreaker with the head-to-head. -head. Coach, we're approaching the end of the first season, or first quarter of the season. What more do you need out of Trey Lance? Dude, he's a beast. It's not about Trey Lance. It's about the players around Trey Lance. It's a team. It's not just about the quarterback. Unless you're the Florida State Seminoles. Beat the Saints and score four-plus offensive touchdowns. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. We scored 20 points in week three. Can we score 28 in week four? It's possible, I guess. Also, there's been a lot of talk about taking out Trey Lance and putting in Jake Meeks. I don't know why I would take out my developmental starting quarterback to put in a backup quarterback that's not playing. Now, there is an argument to be made to put him in somewhere, but who gets taken out here? I'm not really sure. They're all starters. They're all players that need to be a lot better if we're going to be better as a team. I, I don't know that we can swing it right now. I'm more focused on the starters than the backups. Deion Dobbins gets an upgrade here from training. That's very nice. Plus one to finesse moves, pursuit, and a plus two to tackle. I think I do want power moves to get into the 80s at some point. That'll probably be the next upgrade we get. I do want block shedding to be in the 80s as well. But right now, defending the run is not really our biggest problem. Not getting any type of a pass rush is a problem. And it's Monday night prime time. Monday night football, which was last night. That was an interesting game. Bengals taking on the Jaguars. And Jake Browning just played, I mean, the game of his entire life. It was something special. And here we are kicking off first in the Superdome. I actually get to go to the Superdome for the first time. Of course, if you guys follow, uh, follow college football at all, you know Texas. Hook em has made the Sugar Bowl college football playoff in New Orleans at the Superdome here, taking on number two seeded Washington, and I couldn't miss it. So I'm going down to New Orleans for the first time, and I'm excited to see this stadium. You know, it's got a lot of hype for a lot of years now, and you know what? Um, do I take a shot at the Saints? Yeah, this is Falcons franchise. It's going to be interesting to hear a crowd in there for uh, once in a long time as the Saints complete to Johnny Turner to Brian Briscoe. Johnny Turner, of course, their young drafted quarterback. Brian Briscoe, their superstar receiver, I believe from Alabama. Although I don't see the superstar. No, I do see the superstar logo next to him. That's my bad. As that's going to be a quick throw and another completion. That's Terrace Marshall. Okay. All right, let's lock in here. Let's lock in. You're not going to be able to run the ball. But yeah, feed Jamal Williams. See how that goes. Under pressure, oh my goodness, what a freaking decision! How is he doing that? We went down to go ahead and blitz him, essentially, or just rush him. And he just, just throws crossbody up the field to Jamal Williams. We can't get over in time with Jesse Bates, who obviously wasn't going to make the tackle. It's a ridiculous play by the quarterback. Ah, it's unbelievable. We cannot stop the Saints right now. Throw to the end zone. A.J. Terrell knocks it down. Finally, an incompletion for Johnny Turner. Starting out 4 of 5 for 59 yards. Unbelievable. And they keep going empty. I think we're going to thrive when they're an empty. No threat of the run means we can totally focus on defending the pass. But we can't tackle, so it doesn't matter. It is a touchdown for Terrace Marshall in his return to New Orleans area. I'm sure he's from around there. He was an LSU receiver in Baton Rouge. I'm sure he's uh, been to New Orleans before. Yeah, returned to Louisiana, and he's catching touchdowns. Missed tackle by Deshaun Humphreys, and we are down. Right, let's get this offense going. Got to an answer. And we're taking a shot to Kyle Pitts already. Now, that's, that's an easy mistake. Trey Lance thought Kyle Pitts was actually on the sideline for that one, so he's trying to hit him. Um, unfortunately, it didn't end up working. Got a little bit too much velocity on that. Just showing off the arm talent of Trey Lance. As we're going to try a screen. 
And this actually is going to work. It's Bijan Robinson into the open field. That screen takes just a little bit too long to develop. In theory, I think it actually looks good. In practice, it's a little bit too close. However, it ends up being a nice play for us. Is Bijan going to run the ball successfully for four, maybe even four and a half? That looked close to five. Second and six. They're trying to take away Kyle Pitts. We're just going to check down to Quinton Drummond, his first catch in like two or three games, it feels like. He was a top 15 pick. We traded up for him. And in classic Falcons franchise, I'm trying to make this realistic as possible. I'm obviously not going to throw the ball to my first round pick. I think that kind of goes without saying. Third and two. We're going to change it to a run here. That free safety came up to uh, stop the Kyle Pitts slant. So we had to just go ahead and change the play, go to Quinton Drummond, and then Bijan's able to get just enough to convert and move the chain. It's going to be first and 10. As I've said, I'd like to get the ball to Quinton Drummond more. We know what he can do after the catch. It's just been really difficult to do that. He's not getting open quite so much. And when you have guys like Bijan Robinson, you just got to feed him the ball. Let him make plays and... That was almost beautiful. A lot was going on there. It's second and one. I, I thought that could have been a touchdown, honestly. Once we made a couple of guys miss, it looked like it was going to happen. There's Quentin Drummond over the middle as he's having a career game. It's two catches now. And, of course, there's an injury. Like, we weren't already injured at guard. Matthew Bergeron missing time. And now Riley Wheeler, his replacement, who was starting at center, limps off the field. And we are down now two left guards. Yet yeah, we're going to try to run right off of it. And when you have Bijan Robinson, as long as you can block for a second, that's all he needs. Second and one. Quinton Drummond again. And another catch for Drummond. Three catches on this drive. The underbetters are going crazy. I would kill me on underdog. He was limping with a pulled groin. Interesting. Well... He is out for the game. It looked like an ankle. It looked like he couldn't put any weight on the ankle, but it actually ends up being a groin injury. And we're down to our backup, backup left guard, kind of. I only say kind of because Riley Wheeler was starting at center, but then we go ahead and put the rookie at center with the injury to Matthew Bergeron. Riley Wheeler goes back to a more natural left guard. So I wouldn't really call him the backup left guard. I, Kyle Pitts was wide open. And instead, it's nearly intercepted because the pass is not accurate. That, that was a bad sequence. Just with the progression, I was looking at the left side of the field. By the time I worked back to the right, it was too late. Which is unfortunate. This is not the play I chose, by the way. Definitely not the play I chose. So, that's definitely frustrating. Drummond was supposed to be on a cross. Here's third and nine. I like Kyle Pitts. I'm going to Drummond. It's not where it needs to be. He had a step, too. Not, a, like, clearly enough space for that post or anything. But, boom, he wins. He's open. If the ball can just get out over here, it's probably a touchdown. But it goes back towards the defensive back, Tyron Matthew. And it's nearly intercepted. And, um, that's tough. That's a tough miss. But at least we get some points on this drive. Missed the touchdown to Kyle Pitts because I wasn't looking at that side of the field. Nearly threw a pick. Missed the touchdown because of a bad throw. And then we get three points only. Not what I love, but could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, it's play action and he sacked. Jesse Bates making a play? Jesse Bates. This guy's unbelievable. All he does is make plays. I keep saying it. Check down. Check down. Under pressure. And it's the first career sack for Deion Dobbins. Our first pick in the draft. Top 10 pick out of LSU. Returning to Louisiana for the first time. And coming up big. Bringing down their quarterback. Johnny Turner. Meet Deion Dobbins. He'll be your worst nightmare for the next decade. Oh, Turner's got a lot of space, and he's just going to throw it away. Could have got extra yards and still got out of bounds and stopped the clock. Well, not stopped the clock, actually. It would still run because it's not inside five minutes of the second quarter. But 
that's not really a factor. Could have easily been safe and got extra yards for the punt. Instead, we're going to start in Saints territory. First and 10, play action. They're worried about Bijan. I keep throwing a Quinton Drummond, but I like the matchup. If you want to put a linebacker, even albeit a hybrid safety type in Pete Warner, if you want to put that guy on Quinton Drummond, we're going to try to exploit that matchup. More play action. Underneath the pits. It's an inaccurate throw, and it's intercepted. It's the rookie, Will Cox, from Florida State. Has already earned the captain shield. Got the patch on him. That's, I mean, multiple open receivers pass perfectly to Will Cox. Oh, my God. It's open. I'm not, that's not a bad decision. It's a bad result. Oh, it's not a run. They baited it. A little play action and a broken tackle from Juwan Johnson. They're breaking a lot of tackles. Saints offense is looking dangerous here early. This were almost the halftime, but they've been playing well. A little too well, you might say. And there goes Terrace Marshall. Another big catch for him. Turner starting out 8 of 10 for 112 yards and a touchdown. We got to change things up. I don't like how my safeties are so far to the boundary. We'll give them a little bit of space here and, and see what they end up taking. Shot to the end zone. Good defense from Jesse Bates. Jeff Okuda was in the area, but Jesse Bates made that happen. I thought for sure that'd be a touchdown. Please stop the run. Oh, it's going to be a pass. He's under pressure and sacked. Maurice Hurst. Big Mo Hurst with the sack. Love to see it. Free agent signing. And he's coming up big. Johnny Hamilton taking off the field to catch a breather. Mo Hurst comes in and makes a big time play. Third and 17. We can pass commit. We can do it safely. Oh, and he was nearly going to be throwing a pick there. Instead, it's Miles Terry getting half a sack. He was drafted a couple years ago. Doesn't really see the field too much. But the backups are making a big impact right now. And we're going to get sacked. Nice. Yeah, we're going to force the ball to Kyle Pitts here on third and ten. He's open. Timing's good. We're hitting Pitts, and it's a first down. He just doesn't get covered up the seam for some reason a lot of the time. Just so smart to just get him the football when we can. That's only his first catch of the game. He has been targeted, I think, a couple times. Just have not been able to connect. Finally are able to. As Bijan continues to run the ball fairly well. David Long injured for the Saints, their linebacker. Oh, we got space to the outside. Bijan used that speed. Look at Will Cox. Oh, my goodness. Is that who that is? No, it's, Mar it's Marshawn Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore coming over. I'm like, he already has a superstar dev logo revealed. Not quite. It was number 23. There's a two-minute warning. As we are inside the 20, looking to tie things up or even take the lead with a two-point conversion. Don't know why we do that, but it's a possibility. We hit Madsen here. Let's just check down to Bijan. Hope he can break a tackle. That's a great play. It's basically a run. Making good time here. Got a minute and a half still. Don't want to give the Saints too much time to answer if we happen to score. But we also, you know, don't want to not score. Third and six again. We exploit Pete Warner matchup. I don't like it. And we're nearly sacked. Instead, they're going to call it an incomplete pass. Just didn't really see anything I liked there. Was really looking at Kyle Pitts. I did not like how covered he was. Drummond was covered because of Warner. Yeah, everything just locked up there. So it's just another field goal. The four touchdown dream is not looking great today. Just have not been able to capitalize in the red zone. I just don't like how much time there is. A minute and 20, three timeouts for the Saints. Throw over the middle, and it's a big drop by Brian Briscoe. He hears footsteps clearly for Michael Jackson. Look at that celebration. Yeah, and I, I think, ironically, it was Brian Briscoe who went white in the face, completely pale, hearing the footsteps of Jose Carrington, and he dropped the football. Here's the throw. Jesse Bates. Oh, my God. Brian Briscoe catches it. Jose Carrington saves a touchdown, and Jesse Bates still is absolutely, completely useless. I don't know how this is a successful play. Jesse Bates just a second late. Can't get time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. And they're down inside the 10. And they're going to call their timeout. We're also going to call timeouts, by the way. 
if we have to, which I think we are. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, we got to sack him. How does he get the throw off? How is it a touchdown? Javon Holland is beat by Juwan Johnson. We had the quarterback in the backfield. We had him. Instead, can't bring him down. He buys enough time to just throw it up into the end zone. I guess Javon Holland probably thought he was going to get sacked. Deshaun Humphreys again couldn't make the tackle. And then Arnold Ebicady got to him too late. Goodness, dude. All right, we got to score before the end of the half. I don't like 17-6. I don't like that. We do get the football to start the third quarter, of course. But we need some type of points here before halftime. Make it a one-score game at least. Even a field goal makes it an 8.1 possession game. We need something. Wide open is Rashid Shahid. Just get out of bounds. That's fine. Nice throw from Lance. Nice to see one. We're probably taking a shot here. I like the idea of Rashid Shahid. But Quentin Drummond ends up being the most open. We have timeouts. We can stay in bounds. His entire skill set is making people miss in the open field. He's the playmaker archetype. And, of course, Quentin Drummond cannot make anybody miss. 35 seconds. It's just going to be a throwaway. Just didn't like anything. Second and 10. 30 seconds to go. We're taking a deep shot. Drake London beats him over the top. Touchdown. Let's go, baby. When Drake London catches the football, I love him. It's just too often that he doesn't. But he wins deep there. They were in some type of zone defense. It almost looked like a cover two in a way because that corner did not run with Drake London. But I don't know why they'd be in a cover two in that spot. Maybe it was like a cover three with a cloud on the other side. Cover three cloud. Tyron Matthews is caught in a deep half and could not keep up with Drake London. It was just a bizarre coverage uh, from what your expectations would be. I mean, the corner's reading the quarterback. It's, yeah, it looks like it's cover three cloud. You can see how the the boundary corner or the field corner on the other side is playing deep, but this corner's just hanging out. And I don't know if that's on him or if it's the coverage. It looks like the coverage because London runs right by him, leaving Tyron Matthew in a one-on-one. -on -one. Great ball from Trey Lance. You really can't put it in a better spot. Beautiful touchdown. And yes, thankfully he caught it. Could have gone for two there. Could have gone for two and said we'll make it 17-13 going into the half unless we allow points in the final 24 seconds, which I wouldn't put it past our defense the way they've played today. But you got to believe in them and, and expect that they're going to hold the score as it is at 17-13. to 13. Hold the score as it is, please. Fumble! Ball comes out! It's recovered by Terrell! Oh my goodness, what a change this could be to end the first half. Jawan Johnson, who's played so well today, catches the ball and fumbles. It's Jesse Bates who drills him! Jesse Bates, I don't believe it! Ball pops loose, no question that's out. And we have 17 seconds to try to score a touchdown. Certainly at least want to get into field goal range. But a touchdown will be nice. And we're going to get sacked. We're going to call a timeout. Damn. Throw to Drake London. That's a nice catch. Makes a man miss. And that's going to be the final play on offense for the first half. We're going to try a field goal from 47. Certainly did the job. And Young Wick, who should be able to drill this. Kick is up and it is good. Right down the middle. And certainly an electric end to the first half as we've made it a one-point ball game. We'll get the football to start the third quarter. We can take the lead. And here we go. Eddie Pinheiro kicking it deep to Quentin Drummond, who's having a career game. Finally able to target him. And he gets scooped up and dropped. Third and two. Algier into the game. And that's exactly what we needed. Just enough for the first down. Our power back comes in and gets the job done. Another third and one. This time it's Bijan Robinson. Not our short yardage back, but our long yardage back. There goes Bijan. First down and way more. Stepping up with Lance. We don't really run with him very much anymore. But it's definitely something we should be doing a little bit more of when we can. I don't like what's happening. Just going to throw it away. It'll be third and four now, fourth and four. 
Didn't really like anything there. I don't really like the idea of punting though. We're on, are we on R41? We're on R41. No, we're on their 41. Why would I punt here? On fourth and four, I'm gonna punt for like at best, like best case scenario, about 40 yards of field position and when they'd be on the one and I'm gonna give up a 99 yard touchdown anyway. Not gonna be doing that. We are gonna go for it because it's smart in this spot. And somebody's gonna get open. Probably should have run the ball on third and four if we were planning on this, but obviously you want to pick it up. You don't even want to be in this spot. And they're begging me to run the football. And I, I'm going to take a flag. It's more punt room. Okay. Yep, we're going to punt. It was a good move. Got a little bit of space. <laughs> and we're going to pin him deep. And it's a touchback. That's what I feared. How is that a touchback, dude? Did that football really go through the end zone you're really calling it over the pylon for a touchback okay turner under pressure already he's been so killer on the run today ends up throwing it away all right just play good defense we'll get the football back we really have done an awful job of taking advantage of our opportunities on offense today we really don't have many points to uh to show for it Sean Humphreys, that's a nice tackle in space. Finally, it'll be third and 11. Jamal Williams looks hurt on the play. Good job, Deshaun. Now he's back in. All right. Not a good enough job, apparently. Here's third and 11. We're going to pass commit. Take it away. Over the middle. Carrington can't get there. It's Terrace Marshall again. How is that happening? Where are my safeties? It's brutal. How does he just lob it up over the middle and no one makes the play? I mean, Jesse Bates, he has to break earlier. I mean, I guess you're you're worried about Olave as well. Somebody's got to be able to make the play. I guess it's just a good call because you're, you're taking the safeties uh, to the boundary. God, it's, it just seems so frustrating because we have so many guys there. It's a long third down conversion. It sucks. Under pressure, that's not a fumble? Is that a joke? How is that not a fumble? We send heat, we get to him. Is that Miles Terry? Oh my goodness, that guy's having a game. His arm is not coming forward, dude. That is, that is a fumble. Oh, that is brutal. I can't believe that, but I also can because the game's trash, but Second and 10, make a play, make up for it. Where's the ball don't lie moment? It's a nice tackle by Javon Holland, but we need more. It's fourth and inches uh, for the Saints here. They're gonna try a field goal. I guess we could try to block this. I jumped slightly early, but we didn't actually jump and we'll take three instead of an automatic first down on an offsides penalty or a neutral zone infraction. Field goal is good. Still a one possession game. Still gonna go. No, I guess we wouldn't go for two if we if we get a touchdown after the field goal, because it'll be a three point game at that point. We could consider it, but it's probably safe to not. Ooh, Bijan's in the zone. Freight train is activated. He just can't get tackled for a loss. And with freight train, it's hard to get tackled for a loss. Bijan will be out of the game for this down. Throw quickly out to Quentin Drummond, and he has the angle. Let's go. Big catch and run. That ends the third quarter. Still down in this game. Still looking to take the lead. Still not playing well enough to do so. Play action. They don't bite. Quick throw to Pitts. Make somebody miss, Pitts. It's the attack 22 defense right now. It's Ronnie Harrison. Just keep throwing at him. Back-to-back -back plays. We've basically targeted... You know, uh, Ronnie, and it's worked out pretty well for us up to this point. There's Bijan. He's nearing 100 yards rushing. He's had a really nice game. 14 for 95. Probably haven't shown a lot of these runs. But we should. Should show more of them because Bijan is dominating. Oh, great block from Shahid coming up. Thank you. It's another 10-yard gain for Bijan. Oh, he's flopping. Second and three. More Robinson. More power. 
and more first downs. Second goal from the three. Robinson did not get into the end zone. This is the classic run three times and get, get shut out on fourth and goal. How do I not run here, though? All right. I'll mix it up. Comments are in my head. Third and goal. We're going to pass. Underneath. Touchdown, Drummond. There is a flag. I think it's coming back. That's my ultimate fear at the moment. The hold. Who was it? Jedrick Wills. Glad I signed you in free agency. You don't suck. Third and goal. Just throw it to Drummond. He's having a big game. We can't get it to him. It's fourth and goal from the 10. That's not even... That has nothing to do with getting stuffed on the goal line. I mean, it has a little bit to do with it. But the hold, man. Backing us up to third and goal on the 10. We're then forced to pass. And we're not very good at that. Oh, yep. Jeff Okuda just torched by Briscoe. We need to stop. Now... I think there's enough time, and we have enough timeouts where they can't, you know, take down this entire clock. They can take down a lot of it, though. As long as we don't allow a touchdown, still very much in this game. If we allow no points, we are really in the game. That's good defense from Okuda. Second and 10 from the 42. I'd probably be running the ball if I were them. They're choosing not to, and that's why I'm losing this game. Multiple broken tackles from Terrace Marshall. He's brought the Saints into the green zone, inside the 30. And we just don't have an answer for Terrace Marshall at the moment. They're still not running the ball. I mean, we're getting stops on first down. We're forcing incompletions, stopping the clock. I'd love to drive them out of field goal range. In order for that to happen, we pretty much need a sack. Or two, even. It's going to be difficult. But it is possible. And that's a sack. It should be. Somebody get to Johnny Turner. He's broken a tackle. He's outrunning everybody. And it's a touchdown. What is happening? I don't know, dude. I don't know. We had chances to bring him down. I think Zach, Zach Harrison missed him first. Yankee dove and couldn't hit him. Epicady at that point, it was already over. Zach Harrison comes in unblocked, and Turner just breaks the sack, and then we just couldn't get to him with Yankee. That is a devastating back-breaking touchdown to allow. And that is tough. 27-19, still a one-possession game. Still time. I want to play quick, though. Because if we don't get the two-point conversion, I don't want the game to be over. So we have to score as quickly as possible, ideally. Here we go. Start us out with a big return, Drummond. Not great. Now, Bijan is in the zone. If we can just throw him the football in space, I think we're going to end up getting a big play. We're going to go to Drummond, though. Take the first down, I guess. I think we might go hurry up. We need to score really, really quickly. I'm going to try a Bijan carry, though. Yeah, and he's hurt. Oh, God. God. Why do I? Why am I even alive? He's going to jog to the locker room. All right, Bijan's day might be done. Oh, it's devastation. Nothing in my life to smile about. Drake London wins. Trey Lance misses him. Okay. That looked to me like a, a game-tying touchdown. Oh, great slant from London. Drake London's having a great game. He's playing really, really well. We just, uh, we've, we've missed him a couple times. Or at least that one big time. Go deep to him again. Give him a chance. Go up and get it. Drake London can't come down with it. Keep throwing at number 22. It's the who's on 22 defense. Bruce Sternum for Bijan. His day is legitimately done. Our offense changes a ton. Oh, that's a great throw and a great catch. We're throwing the ball to Quinton Drummond a ton today. It's, I mean, it's a career game and then some. Intercepted. That's on me. That's on me. What am I doing? Uh, just trying to be too safe with it, and we end up being way too dangerous with it. The irony is unbelievable. That's just a brain-dead pick. 
I just, uh, I was looking to the left side of the field for Drummond. He's been sick today. And London, obviously. Didn't really like any of them. I don't think anything's open here. And I just force it to Pitts. Now, to be fair, I didn't expect David Long to undercut the route. Pitts was sitting there for a long time. But just you can't throw that. Just got to eat that throw. I mean, even getting sacked there is a whole lot better than throwing what could be the game losing interception. Second pick of the game for Lance. Yeah, not what we need there. We cannot tackle. It's a run. Oh, Dylan Stanley, nice tackle. The rookie out of Stanford comes over and makes a beautiful one-on-one -on -one play. Still in this game. Third down and four. I'm expecting them to run the football. Let's see if they do. They don't. We're over the middle, trying to play defense on it and can't. And it's a first down for the Saints. That is devastating. And that will likely be the ball game. First down, it's over. I'm not, like, I know I should call timeouts in case they fumble. They're going to go victory formation. They're not fumbling. I wish. Running the ball here is stupid, but I have timeouts, so they're still calling plays. But, okay. It's going to look make it look worse. Jamal Williams tackled at the two. At that point, you probably let him score because then you have a chance to, to get the football back. Tackling doesn't really make any sense there. Obviously, your chances to win are like less than 1%, but it's better than the 0% that allowing quarterback kneel downs gets you. So, we're going to lose a game. Saints going to tie things up in the division at 2-2. Two and two. It's a devastating loss. Uh, we just didn't play well enough at all on offense or defense. Our defense was really frustrating. This one couldn't really make tackles. Uh, one frustrating pick with Lance because he just missed the throw. One frustrating pick with Lance because I am stupid. Tough, 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 tough game. Bijan getting injured certainly didn't help. He was having a great game. Ends up near 20 attempts for 127 yards. Averaging over six per carry. Jamal Williams. I mean, uh, this was a frustrating game. This bald fucker. <laughs> Sorry. This guy broke so many tackles. Receiving. Quentin Drummond goes over 100 yards for the first time in his career. I don't really remember the drop. But I guess he did drop the ball at some point. Drake London had a nice day. I don't really remember his drop either. And usually they're hard to forget. Frustrating game. That's all I have to say about it. You know, we, we missed so many sacks. We had so many opportunities to end the game here. At, you know, multiple uh, different turns. We could just make one play on defense. Or convert one time on offense. And we just couldn't. Old groin for Riley Wheeler is going to leave him out for the next four weeks. Thankfully, Matthew Bergeron is on the verge of coming back. This will get, again, more play time for the rookie center. And he's going to have to play extremely well because we keep having our offensive linemen drop like flies. Trey Lance, I don't really have much to say about that. That sounds like me after we lose. <laughs> Why do I always do that? And why is Trey Lance doing it? You know, he learns from the best, Coach Dangus. And you know what? It is on me today. I need to have you guys better prepared and put you in a better position to succeed. We'll get it figured out. And I think that's true. We're going to get it figured out. We're only 2-2. Two and two. It's early. And thankfully, we play in the worst division in all of pro sports. We'll take on the 1-3 Cardinals in Week 5 at home. It's a good bounce-back game. We're going to get our third win. But I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.